the jury didn't need to answer those questions. They only needed to answer one. Did Stephanie Lazarus kill Sherry Rasmussen? It didn't take them long to decide. We, the jury, in the above entitled action, find the defendant, Stephanie Eileen Lazarus, guilty of the crime of murder of Sherry Rasmussen. Stephanie Lazarus was sentenced to 27 years to life. John Rutten spoke at the sentencing hearing. And the fact that Sherry's death occurred because she met and married me brings me to my knees. 33 years after Sherry's death, the questions remain, and so does the pain. You angry about how long this took? <laughs> I am. I'm angry that they didn't treat people better, that they didn't listen to us. The other side of that is God waited long enough for us to really be able to prove that she did it and then put her in prison away from those people that she loves, although she still got a better deal than Sherry did. In fact, it's a better deal than you might have expected. Because of her lengthy service to the LAPD, Stephanie Lazarus continues to receive her department pension even though she's locked up. It comes to just under $72,000 a year. Sherry's sisters focus on keeping her memory alive. I see it in my daughters, and I see it in my grandkids. You see Sherry? Yes. It gives you comfort to know that she's carrying on. She was a dedicated nurse. She cared for people deeply. She was such a people person and was so kind. I think that's a big part of my life and my family's life and trying to help others and be there for them. Three decades after that last Christmas, baby Rachel still feels her aunt's embrace. I've always felt that she's watching over us, that you can talk to her whenever and know that she is there with you and loves you. That's all for this edition of Dateline. We'll see you again next Friday at 10, 9 central. And of course, I'll see you each weeknight for NBC Nightly News. I'm Lester Holt. For all of us at NBC News, good night. More Americans watch NBC News than any other news organization in the world. Lithia Subaru of Fresno proudly sponsors tonight's first segment of local news that matters. Lithia Subaru of Fresno. Subaru confidence in motion. KC24 News begins with your forecast first from your local weather authority. Good evening, I'm forecaster Kaylee Hunt. Taking a look at the clear conditions all across the valley floor and our temperatures slowly starting to decrease. 52 currently in Fresno, that dew point at 41, wind speed 3 miles an hour. Looking at temperatures for the North Valley already in the upper 40s, 52 in Los Banos towards the South Valley, anywhere between upper 40s and lower 50s. Overnight we are going to continue to drop. 42 is what I'm forecasting for Fresno and Clovis overnight, mostly clear, slightly cooler and we could be seeing patchy fog after 2 a.m. KC24 News at 11 starts now. Local news that matters. This is KC24 News at 11. There is an evil in this community that must be stopped. How the city of Fresno continues to rally together after Sunday's mass shooting. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Dennis Valera. Alex and Stephanie are off today. Tonight, a major donation for the families of the four men murdered this past weekend. Wells Fargo announced a $20,000 donation to help pay for their funerals. It happened at the Fresno Center's annual Thanksgiving dinner. Now, as our Kirsten Mitchell shows us, this donation is just one piece in the outpouring of support for the families. This week has been described as nothing less than a nightmare for not just the families impacted, but the entire city of Fresno. That's why tonight a Thanksgiving dinner was the perfect place for everyone to come together. Can I get the family of singer Sai Lee to please stand up? One by one. The family of Cool Jean. Family members. The family of Pia Vang. Of the four men murdered. The family of Kalisi Town, please stand up. Stand tall. I would like for everybody to join me in bow for 10 seconds of silence. 
The Fresno Center's Thanksgiving dinner coming at a time when it's needed the most. This week has been a nightmare for our community and to see our elected officials come together a City Hall. I want them to also come together here so that the, the community uh, can also see that as well. There is an evil in this community that must be stopped. Mayor Lee Brand reassuring the community police are working diligently to find the suspects. We will not be defined by a brutal slain, but we will be defined as a community who cares for all of its citizens and comes together in times of crisis. Now, almost a week later, donations continue to pour in. Wells Fargo surprising the families. Wells Fargo's behind you and we're here to support you and, and we'll be making a $20,000 donation to help you with funeral expenses. And so thank you. The city of Fresno announced it would add $40,000 to the Crime Stoppers Fund for a tip leading to the arrest in the murders. The total amount is now at $56,000. In the studio, Kirsten Mitchell, KC24, local news that matters. Kirsten, thanks. Authorities in Southern California believe they may have prevented a school shooting today. Los Angeles County Sheriff's deputies responded to a middle school yesterday after a call about a threat. The investigation led to the home of a 13-year-old boy where deputies found an AR-15 rifle, 100 rounds of ammo, and a list of targets. That list included students and school staff members. 12-year-old Brian Mendez doesn't know the student, but he and all of his classmates know all about the, thre the threat. Well, I heard that um, they want uh, this one kid, he wanted to um, um, start a school shooting. I was actually scared, and I thought, like, it was going to actually happen. The suspect is being held at a juvenile facility. This incident comes the same day as a separate shooting threat at another Los Angeles County High School. And this was at Pete Knight High School. And the deputies responded to the 3700 block of Sendia Street East in Palmdale. And the informant provided deputies with information of a fight that occurred on the school campus earlier that day. As a result of the fight, several students were detained and received suspensions for their involvement. Sheriff Villanueva says one of those involved in that fight later posted a picture of someone holding a gun. Deputies investigated the threat against Pete Knight High School and arrested the teen who posted that picture. He was charged on suspicion of criminal threats. Now, a chase on our highways resulted in a crash the driver suspected of driving high. This is what 49-year-old Laura Wall's car looked like by the end. She's now in the Fresno County Jail facing a number of charges. The Fresno County Sheriff's Office believes she was under the influence of marijuana. An alarming trend for all law enforcement in the Valley. A Fresno County Sheriff's deputy first noticed this car, swerving around other cars, even going at triple-digit speeds. No matter what the deputy did, the driver would not pull over. The sheriff says Laura Walls would not stop until she ran a red light and crashed into another car. They believe she was high on marijuana. There was an odor of marijuana that was coming out of the vehicle. Uh, she was also exhibiting signs to show uh, that she was high or under the influence of something. It's something California Highway Patrol in Fresno is seeing more of these days. Drivers driving high. Officer Mike Salas says from 2018, CHP has seen a 180% increase in drug arrests. The numbers are not only alarming to the, the Highway Patrol, but law enforcement in general. And it should be alarming to the motoring public out there uh, because your lives are also in danger. Salas says the increase is due to more drug recognition experts on hand. CHP's Fresno branch has 20 of them. They're specially trained to determine levels of impairment from a variety of substances. The fines are going to be uh, uh, about the same. Um, you're still going to be arrested. You're still going to be sent to the county jail. And you're still going to have uh, the repercussions that the, the court system is going to have on you. Now, also in Fresno County, crews had to use the jaws of life to free a woman from the wreckage of her SUV tonight. This was in the area of Highway 99 near the American Avenue exit. Now, according to CHP, just after 6 tonight, the woman lost control of her SUV while driving on southbound Highway 99. The SUV swerved and hit the center median before crashing into a tree on the shoulder of the roadway. She was taken to Community Regional Medical Center with major injuries. Now, officers say she was the only person in the vehicle.
In the North Valley, the Merced Police Department is asking for the public's help to locate a missing girl. They say 11-year-old Audrina Moreno left her home late this afternoon on the 400 block of Tulane Drive. She may have been trying to get to Mercy Hospital to see a family member. She was last seen wearing a black hooded sweatshirt and black leggings. Anyone with information on her whereabouts is asked to contact the Merced Police Department. Now an update to a story we brought you yesterday. Mendota police say a 14-year-old girl reported missing yesterday has been found in Mexico. Viviana Juarez was last seen walking from her home toward Mendota High School around 745. Often a jury could take up to a week in regards to a possible death penalty case. The jurors will be off next week for the Thanksgiving holiday and will be back to deliberate on December 2nd. That's Larry County deputies say a dating site meetup ended with a robbery. Investigators say the victim used the site Meet Me to contact 31-year-old Shalina Lopez. They ended up going to a casino with a man she said was a family member. At the casino, another man joined the group. The group then reportedly threatened the victim with a gun and forced him to drive to a convenience store in Porterville and withdraw money from an ATM. Deputies say Lopez and 39-year-old Mario Ganoa are in custody, but they're still looking for 27-year-old Cesar Domingo Jr. Deputies also recovered $400 in stolen cash. A Los Angeles jury has awarded $13 million to the children of a man who died when two Anaheim police officers used a chokehold to detain him. Now a warning, this video in the story is graphic. Now the court found the responding officers guilty of unreasonable force and negligence in 2016. In the 2016 incident, excuse me. Now, body cam video shows the prolonged struggle with the 32-year-old who'd recently been released from prison. The coroner ruled that he died of asphyxia, but the city says their officers acted appropriately. When our officers arrived, they took measured, reasonable actions at each stage during this incident to try and merely get the person who was determined to resist, fight, and get away to get him in a situation where they could interview him. Now, the money from the judgment will be paid out of an insurance pool that the city pays into. The police in Livermore have spent more than 20 years trying to figure out who raped two women in 1997. Now, DNA evidence may have provided a breakthrough. Police were then able to identify 61-year-old Gregory Vienne as a suspect. De detectives made a DNA match from a plastic spoon they say the suspect came into contact with. Officers arrested him at his Livermore home. I think you know the people in your neighborhood. It's a beautiful neighborhood, as you can see, but just shocking. I mean, I, I'm just heart broke over it, actually. And I feel bad for his, for his family. Now, this is the latest in a series of high-profile murder cases to be solved through DNA technology. Now, a passenger train hits a motorhome stopped on railroad tracks in Southern California early this morning. Take a look at this dramatic video of the crash taking place. Now, witnesses told police that the motorhome apparently stalled on the tracks at a gated crossing in Santa Fe Springs. You can see people running to and from the motorhome quickly. Just, before mo just moments before, a Metrolink train slams into it, causing the home to burst into flames. No injuries were reported, but passengers on board the train were startled. A spokesperson said the engineer did try to stop the train before hitting the motorhome. Now, firefighters extinguished the flames, which destroyed the motorhome and just damaged the front of the train. A nearby freight train stopped next to the Metrolink train, and it too was damaged by the fire. <laughs> Health officials are warning you to be extra careful with romaine lettuce from Salinas because of a reported outbreak of E. coli. They say if you aren't sure where it's from, don't eat that either. The Food and Drug Administration is investigating the outbreak. They say it has sickened at least 40 people in more than a dozen states. The FDA says its investigation has led to farms in Salinas, but they are still looking for the original source of the, de of the contamination. Now, military veterans in California will soon be able to adopt shelter animals free of charge. California Governor Gavin Newsom signed a bill recently which calls on the shelters to waive pet adoption fees for military veterans. It goes into effect on January 1st. The Golden State is home to 2 million vets, many who struggle with post-traumatic stress disorder. What better way to, um, new way to like, honor our veterans by, you know, giving them the opportunity to have a friend, to have um, an animal, to be there for them, comfort them, support them. 
Adopted animals are up to date on their vaccinations, spayed or neutered, and treated for fleas and worms. Veterans will be responsible for a small licensing fee, but other than that, the adoptions will not cost them. All right, well, still to come, frustration on Capitol Hill. It's been sitting on Nancy Pelosi's desk for so long, it's absolutely ridiculous. Now the White House is pushing for a deal to be made on the USMCA. And how a billboard along the California Highway is sparking a debate on free speech. And I'm forecasting pleasant weekend temps in the upper 60s. But first, here's a look at our allergy forecast brought to you by Dr. Amy Minion of the Allergy Institute. Fresno State is recruiting new athletes for eSports. Because video games has that like stigma against it. It's like, oh, it's just a video game. And a new generation of online players. We're taking it very seriously, competitively, professionally. Education matters. The new face of Fresno State Athletics. Digital athletes on KC 24 News Monday at 6. Stay connected with local news at yoursimplevalley.com and your local weather authority forecast every day. KC24 News is always available at yoursimplevalley.com. All right, let's get going. You want to make sure it's tight. Oh! I ordered it for everyone. I think I have the exact amount. We got the biggest Subaru to help bring our family together. Just resting my eyes. Even though we're generations apart. What a day. I just love those kids. Presenting the three-row Subaru Ascent. Love is now bigger than ever. Subaru of Fresno, 5212 North Blackstone, where every new Subaru comes with complimentary maintenance included. Celebrate Thanksgiving week on today. Monday, Chip and Joanna Gaines, what they're doing to give back. Give a hug, bro. Then Wednesday, the United Plates of Thanksgiving, 52 chefs on the plaza, holiday meal tips from the pros, a special live event this week only on today. The Black Friday event is happening now. Get zero for 72 on all 2019 F-150s and Mustangs before you buy anywhere else. Bring us any dealer's Black Friday offer and let us show you what future can do. Future Ford of Clovis. Paper. Scissors. Rock. 105.1 The Blaze. The Valley's best rock. Call Energy Smart today. For zero down, we'll install the best system around. Energy Smart. All right, it's really feeling like fall, but it's going to feel a little warmer fall for right now. Yes, so we kind of get the best of both worlds. Tonight <laughs> is going to be cold as well as tomorrow morning, but we're going to warm up into the upper 60s with plenty of sunshine. But first, mm. tossing it over to our Valley Camp. This is powered by Master Storage 365, and you're looking right outside our Avenue 13 and Highway 99 Sky Cam in Madeira. You can see it is dark. It's a little bit breezy out there, but for the most part, we're looking at clear conditions. 52 currently in Fresno, that dew point at 41, wind speed at 3 miles an hour. Let's take a look at our solar forecast. This is brought to you by Renewable Solar. And you can see from yesterday, today, and tomorrow, it's looking to be good all around. Temperatures currently in Fresno, we're sitting at 52 degrees, 49 currently in Madeira, 48 for Merced, 52 for Los Panos. Towards the South Valley, some parts already in the mid-40s. 46 currently in Lemoore, 45 in Visalia, and 50 degrees in Hanford. Overall, we're looking at a little bit warmer temperatures tonight compared to yesterday but warmer all about three to four degrees and that wind speed for the most part all under 10 miles an hour so we're looking at breezy conditions but nothing sees nothing too seasonal so three miles an hour for Merced seven for Madeira seven for Hanford nine miles an hour for Lemoore once again all under 10 and that's going to be the same case as we're heading into the morning hours air quality from Merced all the way down to Tulare counties for tomorrow looking to be moderate however Sequoia National Park is going to be good overnight forecast for Fresno and Clovis, we are going to drop down to 42 degrees, mostly clear, slightly cooler, and patchy fog could be prevalent after 2 a.m. Forecast lows for the rest of the valley in the upper 30s, if not in the lower 40s. 38 for Madeira, 41 for Merced, 38 for Mendota. Towards the South Valley in the upper 30s as well, 39 in Hanford, 38 for Lemoore, and 39 for Tulare. And then we are going to warm up into the upper 60s. 68 is what I'm forecasting for Fresno, 66 for Hanford, 65 for Visalia, Sequoia National Park, 54 
24 and Shaver Lake I'm forecasting a chilly 46. Tomorrow's highs 68 for Fresno and Clovis patchy fog before 7 a.m. So our window for some fog in the valleys between 2 a.m. and 7 a.m. in the morning mostly sunny after 7 a.m. and then still just slightly above average. Average is 64 and we're going to be at 68. Live radar showing clear conditions all across the valley floor just a little bit of high elevation cloud coverage for the Sierra Mountains but what can we expect as we're heading into our Saturday morning. Clear conditions all around. That little bit of cloud coverage will leave and we're going to be looking at clear conditions Saturday morning. That's going to be the trend all Saturday. So from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. clear conditions as the sun starts to set. However, next week I am tracking that low pressure system swooping on in coming right Tuesday night into Wednesday and what that low pressure will bring is breezy conditions, showers to the valley floor as well as some snow in the higher elevation. As of right now it's looking to come Tuesday night into Wednesday, which means Wednesday, a big travel day for Thanksgiving, is going to be a little bit wet and rainy. However, by Thursday, just looking to be at light showers. Taking a look at our seven-day forecast for the valley. Once again, it is going to be quite pleasant this weekend. 68 on Saturday and on Sunday, plenty of sunshine. And that low pressure system will move in Monday night into Tuesday, dropping the low to 40 degrees. By Tuesday, 59, increasing clouds. By Wednesday, that low pressure system will be here, bringing in some light showers for the valley floor. And then by Thursday, on our Thanksgiving, a high of 53. And as always, head on over to your web, our website, yourcentralvalley.com. We will keep you up to date with the next storm system. And we're still a couple days out. We're about a week out. Mm -hmm. So this could all very well change. But as of right now, I'm forecasting a little bit of showers on Wednesday, which we definitely need. So we need the water. Good news. Yes. Yeah. And let's hope it stays off of Thanksgiving. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely off the road. Yes. In a field. In a field, maybe. <laughs> maybe some snow. That'd maybe be some nice. snow. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Thanks, Kaylee. Coming up next in sports, the Fresno State football team will host Nevada tomorrow night in their final home game of the season. Julia Lopez has a preview of that up next in Sports Central. Help KC24 collect for Catholic charities. Donate a turkey at the KC24 Turkey Drive. Tuesday at the KC24 Studios. Help KC24 and Donald P. Dick Air Conditioning provide for Valley families by meeting needs that matter. That day I had got down and I was like, something is wrong, something is not right here. He got to the ER. They called a cardiac alert right away. They did CPR for 55 minutes. It's scary. You're worried, you're scared, but they make you feel so comfortable. I mean, they went above and beyond. It's still hard. But I'm very appreciative because it was a miracle. I mean, thanks to Kuwait Delta, I'm alive today. Thanks to them and their employees that I am, I am alive today. More inside more furniture for less, we're giving you more choices and amazing values on premium mattresses. For a limited time, save up to $600 on select Tempur-Pedic mattress sets when paired with power adjustable Tempur bases. Or choose premium Stearns and Foster Reserve or Lux Estate hybrid mattresses and power adjustable bases and save up to $1,000. Always free white glove delivery and installation. Only at Sleep More. Inside more furniture for less, your elite Tempur-Pedic retailer. Stay informed on Facebook. Like and follow our page, then click following and select see first. Now, Sports Central, presented by Table Mountain Casino. I'm a firm believer in uh, everything happens for a reason. So, and, you know, the time that I've had here has, has, has been amazing. Um, I'm just looking forward to, you know, keeping it going. Although it's coming to an end, man, it's, it's been, it's been one, one great journey, and I'm, I'm, I'm very happy to be back. Yeah, everyone has their own journey. Ricky McCoy, who you just heard from, graduated from Roosevelt High School and helped the Rough Riders reach the second round of the Central Section playoffs. He then went to Washington for three seasons, but decided to come back to the Valley and play his last two seasons with his hometown team, Fresno State. So the Bulldogs are four and six, and if they win their next two games, they're going to become bowl eligible. It begins this weekend when Fresno State plays host to Nevada at six, at six and four, a team that's riding a two-game winning streak and coming 
coming off of a bye. The dogs have beat the Wolf Pack in the last two meetings. Good football team. Uh, probably, you know, most likely come in here with a lot of confidence. And, um, you know, and we were very fortunate last year to be able to, to win, so I'm sure they're going to be very motivated to, to redeem themselves from that. Um, but uh, well-coached team, a lot of players who play really hard. We're grateful for the bye week to get healthy. I know a lot of our guys felt good on the practice field today, um, but, but we're hungry to play, and so we're looking forward to the opportunity. The quarterback's a good player, and they got a really good running back in Ronnie Rivers, too, and I know their own line's a little banged up, so um, hopefully our D-line can uh, lay it on them, but um, I'm really excited to play them. Yeah, Nevada is pumped to try and get some redemption, but Fresno State will be coming out with a lot of energy on senior night as 17 players will run down the ramp one last time as a Bulldog. Are you going to be trying not to cry, or are you going to let it come if it... If it I don't... You know, I'd like to think I'm this this tough guy that doesn't show an emotion ever, but... You know, it's just, it's been a, it's been a journey. And then if I start going back to those memories of when I started and how I, you know, all the things that happened throughout the years, you know, 111 to a, you know, Mountain West Championship, it might just all hit me. All the emotions just come out. I don't know. We'll see. I hope we get to see a tear or two. Kickoff is set for 7.30 at Bulldog Stadium this Saturday. Get there early if you want to help the seniors celebrate before the game. That's your look at sports. I'm Julia Lopez for Sports Central. All right, thanks, Julia. Still to come, a billboard next to a road in San Joaquin County is sparking a debate on free speech. How a political ad could be breaking the law. Allard's Art is your local source for all of your drawing and painting needs, from blank canvas to professional framing, plus the Valley's largest assortment of fine pens. Allard's Art on Blackstone and Barstow. For more information on this business, go to yourcentralvalley.com and click on Central Valley Local. Hurry in for the final days of Toyota's Operation Black Friday. Before it ends, get 2,500 total cash back on Camry or get 2,000 total cash back on the all-new Corolla. Toyota's Operation Black Friday ends Monday. Toyota, let's go places. Oh, when we knew Zane was going to be a pretty good cowboy was when he was about three years old. He and I were riding through the pasture and I noticed his little gray pony was gonna jump the ditch. I hollered back at him, hold on, hold on. Zane's feet went up in the air and his head went back. When he landed on the other side, he looked at me and I looked at him and I thought he was going to cry and he said, cowboy. And I said, that's right, son, you're a cowboy. <laughs> The push-pull or drag it in event is going on now with the Farney Automotive Group. We need all trades, and we're paying top dollar. If you owe money, if you're upside down, or if you have to drag it in, we want your car. This event runs now till December 2nd. Before you go anywhere, come get our trade value first. Come to any of our stores, Toyota of Selma, Farney Ford, or Farney Buick GMC, where buyers are on site. Whether you buy from us or not, we want your car. Ten days only. Don't miss our push-pull or drag it in event. Only at the Farney Automotive Group. Drive a little, save a lot. May your holidays glow bright and all your dreams take flight. Lease the E350 sedan for 529 a month at the Mercedes-Benz Winter Event. Hurry in today. Hurry in for the final days of Toyota's Operation Black Friday. Last chance for 2,000 total cash back on the powerful Tacoma and mission-capable 4Runner. Hurry. Toyota's Operation Black Friday ends Monday. Toyota, let's go places. This is KC24 News at 11. The White House continues to push for the USMCA trade agreement between the U.S., Canada, and Mexico to pass. In D.C., Anna Warnicke spoke to the president to find out what he thinks the holdup is. President Donald Trump told me in a one-on-one -on -one interview that he's leading a last-minute push to get the USMCA trade deal through Congress and to his desk by December. It's been sitting on Nancy Pelosi's desk for so long, it's absolutely ridiculous. And the president says he thinks Speaker Pelosi is holding it hostage. She's been sitting with it for months. And it's only up to her. It's not up to the Democrats. She has to put it forward. The president says if the House continues to delay a vote. Canada, 
and Mexico are going to say bye-bye pretty soon. There's the danger of no deal at all. Is there a plan in place if this goes into next year? I have no plan in place. Look, I'm more concerned with Canada and Mexico saying let's not do the deal. And President Trump told me that the impeachment hearings on Capitol Hill are distracting Congress from passing the USMCA. He says he watched some of those hearings this morning, but he called the entire inquiry a hoax. She needs the votes for impeachment. So she's going to use USMCA in order to get impeachment. Speaker Pelosi said last week she hopes the House will vote to approve the deal by the holidays. I'd like to see us get it done uh, this year. I mean, that would be my goal. But Republicans say they haven't seen any movement. All she has to do is put it on the floor, and we will have a bipartisan success story. But she won't do it. The Democrats want to have it. The unions want it. President Trump met with members of his cabinet on Tuesday and said he's ready to sign the deal. He's just waiting on Congress to act. I think if we don't get USMCA, and we really need to, I think we will, but if we don't, it's it's just a loss for uh, the American worker. And, uh, and I sure hope that the Democratic leadership doesn't want to uh, be responsible for, for that kind of loss. Back on Capitol Hill, Democrats blame the delay on the Republicans. It's hard to take President Trump and Senate Republicans seriously, and they try to blame the House impeachment inquiry for legislative inaction. At the White House, I'm Anna Warnicke. Here in the club, I can't even hear my own voice. Jack in the Box would have been a better choice. The Jack in the Box and experience the joy of missing out with my $3 mini munchies. Get them delivered with DoorDash. Only Jack in the Box. The fall used car sellathon is going on now at Future Ford of Clovis. Over 119 certified Fords to choose from. F-150 Explorer, Expedition, and more. Get big selection and low prices now at Future Ford of Clovis and futurefordclovis.com 24-7. Shop early and save big at More Furniture's Black Friday preview sale. Get Black Friday prices preview sale this Saturday at More Furniture for Less. Find all sale specials online at morefurniture.com. All right, let's get going. We got the biggest Subaru to help bring our family together. Just resting my eyes. Even though we're generations apart. What a day. I just love those kids. Presenting the three-row Subaru Ascent. Love is now bigger than ever. Visit Subaru of Fresno, 5212 North Blackstone during the Subaru Share the Love event. Do you have an open leg sore between your knee and ankle that won't heal? Or are you a diabetic with an open wound on your foot? There are advanced clinical studies evaluating new therapies and investigational uses designed for people with venous leg sores and diabetic foot ulcers. Qualified participants will receive all study-related care, including doctor visits, standard of care therapy, study medication, and financial compensation. If you have an open leg wound or foot wound, call 559-322-0998. Because you deserve to be pampered. Because it fits your lifestyle. Because hand and stone massages and facials reach deep into your body and soul. Hand and stone massage and facial spa in River Park next to Yard House. It's the event you've waited all year for. Rosari Auto Center's Black Friday Savings Event. Every vehicle's price to sell. Test drive a new Ford truck starting at $19,991. Rosari has the best deals and the best wheels, just in time for the holidays. And starting at 8 a.m. on November 29th, Rosari Auto Center's pre-owned vehicle prices are being slashed. Get your next favorite ride at our lowest prices of the year, starting at $9.99. Get the biggest savings of the year right now. Rosari Auto Center's Black Friday Savings Event. This museum of fun was not a great call. Should have gone to Jack. They've got it all. The Jack in the Box and experience the joy of missing out with my $3 mini munchies. Get them delivered with DoorDash. Only a Jack in the Box. After a 16-hour flight from D.C., Bebe the giant panda is now getting used to his new home in China. He was born in the Smithsonian Zoo of the United States, but under China's agreements with host countries, all pandas must return to the country <laughs> when they turn four years old so they can join the breeding program. How cute. What a climber. I want him. 
So adorable. I love pandas. I <laughs> love all animals. How nice. Well, this would be a beautiful weekend to go to the Fresno Zoo. Mm. I don't believe we have pandas, but we have a whole bunch of other animals I to wish. look at. Oh. 68 Saturday and Sunday can't get much better. And then by Monday, 66. Tuesday, that cold front comes through. And Wednesday, looking to be a little bit showery and wet. Thursday for Turkey Day, a high of 53. Sounds good. Yeah. All right, thanks for joining us tonight, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Take care. KC24 is making your holiday a little happier with mortgage or rent payments for a year, plus great gifts from these local partners. Register to win at yourcentralvalley.com, then watch your home for the holiday special November 28th for great gift ideas. The Kia Holiday Sticker Sales Event is going on now at Future Kia of Clovis. Get zero APR financing for 66 months, plus up to 2,000 Kia bonus cash on specially tagged vehicles. Save big now at Future Kia of Clovis or ClovisKia.com 24-7. Surprise! A new Buick? To James, from James. Hey, is this a new Buick? I secret santa myself. I shouldn't have. I have been very good this year. I love it. I love it. Turn Black Friday into Buick Friday all month long. Current eligible lessees get this low mileage lease on this 2019 Buick Encore for around $199 per month. Or get just over $6,700 below MSRP on this 2019 Encore Preferred. Visit SendCalBuick.com today. Tune in to my radio station, Q971. Hey, Greg and Dre. I listen to you guys every day. Q971 plays the best music and gets the party started. Tune in to Q971. Maybe it's the perfectly seasoned steak with tender lobster tail. Perhaps it's that famous steak and shrimp skewer. Or maybe it's just that feeling of laughing and celebrating the holidays together. Whatever the reason, one thing's for sure. You want Sizzler. Change is an opportunity.